This is a quick video to demonstrate the new Google Classroom integration with Makers Empire. I'm currently logged into the Google Classroom website um, as a teacher and you can see I have one class called Design Thinking and one student inside that class. There is an assignment allocated to this class and if we click on the students tab at the top we can see we have one test student inside our class. Now if we then go back to our Makers Empire website and we choose the login option in the top navigation, there's now two options to sign in. You can sign in on the left with your normal Makers Empire account or you have the option on the right to sign in with your Google Classroom account. So I'll click that. That's going to basically take us to the Google account sign in page and we'll select the account that we want to sign in as. It's going to ask you to authorise some access um, to your Google Classroom account. Um, we want to be able to view your classes and, and your students inside that account. I'll click allow on that now and then that should proceed to log us into the Makers Empire website. So we're now in the teachers dashboard. Uh, if we click on classes on the left here now, we'll see that straight away it's automatically synchronised our classes, uh, design thinking class from Google Classroom and if we click on that we can see the students inside of that class. This is obviously a big benefit on saving a lot of time of loading in your students and classes manually into Makers Empire. In the top right hand corner of this page there's also a synchronised button. If we click that it allows us to fetch all the Google Classroom information dynamically as we need it. The next step is to pretend we are logging in as a student in the classroom into Makers Empire 3D software. We've opened the application on our device and we're at the login screen. Now because we're a part of Google Classroom, we can click on the Google icon in the bottom right corner and log in with our Google account. This will jump us to the Google website where they'll prompt us for authentication. Select the account we want to log in as. And we are now logged into Makers Empire with our Google account. So the student can now carry on, use the application as they would normally in a class, go through a lesson plan. But let me just show you one of the key advantages of now being able to log in with your Google account. If you come in and create an object with Makers Empire, and let's just quickly pretend we are creating an object here with a few random objects. We're finished. We'll click the button down the bottom right hand corner to say we're done. Um, we can enter in a title for this and we'll call it Project 1. And if you see in there, there's a small camera icon which allows us to actually take a video and submit and save this video. So this is asking for commentary now. Hello, this is my fancy new object I created in Makers Empire. Click the stop button. That's now recorded a video that I can now push back up into Google Classroom. So if I click OK, I can obviously save it to the device or to Facebook or various other places, but what I'm going to choose here is Google Classroom. I'll select that. OK, so the student has now arrived in Google Classroom. We'll see our design thinking class here and we have the option to attach to assignment. Let's click on that. It'll give us a list of our assignments. We're going to attach it to design thinking, Makers Empire assignment. Now straight away that starts uploading the video that we created in Makers Empire into Google Classroom. That momentarily will now be added to the assignment. I have the option now to add more attachments, add some comments, but I'll skip that step for now and simply click hand in. Once that's now handed in, the teacher should receive a uh, notification and the student is then thrown back to Makers Empire to carry on with their work. As a teacher, we are back in our Google Classroom dashboard. Uh, we'll click on our design thinking class and uh, we'll see here under our assignment that we have one submission. 
Um, so we'll click on that and here we'll be able to see all of our students' uh, uploads of their Maker's Empire videos. Um, we have the option here to click on that and view the video. Um, and you also have your normal options in here for Google Classroom, which is to be able to grade the work as part of the assignment. So I'll give that a score and that's saved away. And then you can return your work back to your student.